that thing is going to haul logs, I'll tell you, in the first place. Why is that? Because I've hauled logs most of my life, and don't tell me some electric truck's going to rattle up and down logging roads. Yeah. Stay together. Welcome to the Edison Motors YouTube. Here we go. They are flying 41 amps and is spinning. You want to come have a look? Have a look at this. That is a solid metal door. Good feel to it, but it's so light, you can close it firmly with a thumb. Instead of recessed Phillips screws, standard bolts. You can get a wrench on these, pull these out if you need to access. On the back here, there's no cables. It's straight mechanical linkage. That's going to give you the best connection, best serviceability. Fewest things to go wrong. Simple mechanical handles. That's what I, we believe in. Two inch square tubing. Now that is overkill and we know that. We gotta remember this is a logging truck. And one of the key things we're trying to protect people on is rollovers on logging roads. This two inch square tubing makes an entire roll cage like a skitter. This is going to be one of the safest cabs to ever go onto the market. We have until September 9th to get this entire truck done. We actually gotta get working shit. Guys, we got a lot of work to do. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, here Chase is in the hospital. Apparently there was an incident today while installing the E-axle. We were mounting the electric axle, it fell off the stand, and it kind of squished that arm there. He was reaching in, doing his measurement, and he probably put some weight on, but it caused the drum to drop, and this was touching the ground, so we had to get a bunch of guys to come and pick it up, physically off him. You know, his arm went from like this, to like <laughs> First time ever in my life, I was glad the truck wasn't a manual. I'm like, well, we should still be able to drive it, it's automatic. <laughs>
drop a 2,000 pound <laughs> axle on us. Nah, yeah, no problem. Use, Use a drill drop. slightly wrong. I got a broken, um, broken hand yesterday while drilling. It was pretty brutal. Yeah. Ended up just, you know, at the end of the day, last drill hole of the day was just going to be like really thin sheet metal uh, for the brake light box. And uh, yeah, the whole thing kicked back and it totally threw my hand and my pinky finger out. Ended up baking not one but two minerals. So I'm going to cast your next one. Please. Okay, so Today, I'm at a higher stress level than I normally am, which is already pretty high. Our headache rack was supposed to be here um, four days ago. We need to have this installed so that when Flow Drawlet gets here to help us build this truck, it's already ready to go for them for us to make the show. These guys then hired somebody else to haul it. It's now been eight days. Eight days on what we were promised was three days. I don't know if we're gonna make the truck show if we can't get this headache rack. Our odds of getting this thing complete are going down and down and lower every single day. Here it comes. Yeah. somehow. Why am I paying you? You ripped us off, you scammed us, and you're still trying to collect the full amount? You should be paying us for all the overtime hours. No one can say that Edison is not a progressive company. <laughs> This is gonna be so awesome for doing burnouts, having your tires go in opposite directions. Yeah, you gotta keep these on coast pretty. Hey! Hey! We're going the right way! Woo! What? I'm driving the truck! <laughs> your foot is on the pedal. I'm driving the truck! Give us some gas! I've never been so excited. That's pretty fucking awesome, don't you think? Oh, guys, this is crazy. What has happened today? Chase literally drove the truck for the very first time using his foot on the accelerator wheel. And it worked really nice. Oh yeah! That's awesome, Chase. I gave you a lot of work. You a lot That's so sick. We just drove the truck for the first time here now. It worked. I was able to put it into gear, apply the throttle, have the wheels spin, come back to neutral. We're still working on reverse, but we can move forward. And that's a big step. And we are only moving forward. We're only moving forward. It's only forward from here. <laughs> this generator hasn't ran in nine months, so we're gonna see whether uh, money's where his mouth is and this thing fires <laughs> up or not. <laughs> Did 
This is the nicest sounding electric vehicle I've ever been in. It's hot in here. Let's get up to speed. It's naturally AC going. Yeah. Edison truck, first test drive. Just gonna turn our air compressor on. We got nothing on throttle. Oh. It's still being limited. Yeah. Let me go. Let me go do a little more. Okay. There you go. There's a little bit more. There you go. You're almost there. Uh, no. Oh man. Yeah. Give me a little more. Give me a lot more. Yeah, give me a lot more. Yeah, a lot more. Okay, try that. Just 12 months, we went from Carl to our own running and driving. We went from parts from a ripped out Tesla to e-axles, proper battery, not an old mechanical generator, a purpose built. We did it. Yep, we sure did. I can't believe we did it. I can't believe we actually did it. Oh, I knew we would, but the fact that we were actually able to pull it off in a year is incredible. Isn't it crazy? What's that door sound like? Strong. Strong like this. We may have all the self few things. All right, it's on the low bed. We're on our way down to the show now. Well, guys, we made it. We got Carl, and to reveal the new truck's name, I think you'll like this, we decided to name our newest truck Topsy. We got Topsy, and we got Carl at the Fully Charged Show. Holy shit!